These are two of the baddest heavy-duty off-road pickup trucks money can buy. That is the Ford F-250 Super Duty with the Tremor package, and this is the Ram 2500 Power Wagon. Now we've already done a full comparison of the two, off-road and on, so check out that video if you want all the little details, but this one is about the bragging rights. That's right, the Ford has a ton of torque, but the Ram is significantly lighter. And we've already tested both of these trucks at our test track, and the Ford did the quarter mile in 15.1 seconds, but the Ram did it in 16.1 seconds. That was on pavement. Now we're gonna see how they do off. Well, it's really warm out here. I'm starting to sweat and my feet are getting hot. Let's go. All right, dude, who do you think's gonna win? Oh, there's no question the Ford's gonna win. It's just got too much torque and once those turbos kick in, uh, there's nothing that the Ram can do about that. This truck is lighter. I'm hoping that'll help on this stuff. And I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Keep my fingers crossed that the Ram will win. That power wagon has a lot of torque, but this thing has 1,050 pound-feet of torque. I don't know what tricks Travis has up his sleeve, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to overcome that difference. That Ford has a big advantage. It's got 1,050 pound-feet of torque. We heard all about it in the comparison video. But I'm hoping I can do two things to put me across the finish line first. First thing is shifting from four high into two high after the launch. I don't know if Ryan's gonna do that, but I know I don't need all the traction after I get off the line. And the second thing I'm hoping gives me an advantage is that this truck is way lighter. It's significantly lighter, especially because that truck has the big diesel up front. I don't know if it'll be enough. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. The thing with the Tremor is it excels at towing big, heavy loads. And all the things that make it good at that are going to give it an advantage here. It's really sturdy, it's got a ton of power, and it's got big turbochargers that just go like a freight train. Since we're just going in a straight line on relatively smooth surface, I don't think there's gonna be any trouble putting the power down, and I don't think there's gonna be any trouble putting that thing in the rearview mirror either. Hi right, guys, you ready? I am ready to go. Oops, almost forgot my racing gloves. So, uh, Ryan, you ready to lose? Hey man, whatever happens, I'm sure somebody thinks that truck is cooler. I mean, you admitted it was cooler, and not only that, but you're gonna have to win by a lot, if you win, to justify the $17,000 price difference between the two of these trucks. That's a lot of money in upgrades and performance. Really putting a lot of pressure on the word if there, buddy. All right, all right, we'll see who ends up at the finish line first. Turn the AC off. I'm gonna turn off the AC. So it is definitely 100 degrees outside and probably a lot more so hot that my car reads 133 degrees. Just to guarantee there's no funny business out here. The Tremor gets where it's supposed to go, which is first place. All right, three, two, one, go! All right, we're in too high now. I got ahead of him, I got a better launch. Oh, but those turbos are building up. Go through it, just thing, tornado. Oh, <laughs> this is just sad. It's just sad. There's no catching up. I don't care how light this truck is. Oh, man. Well, crush me. That's the end of that. Woo! Pretty easy win. I am going to hear about this for a long, long, sad time. And air back on. And now, we call it the walk of shame. Ah, deserve that air. I earned it. All right, you uh, you got lucky that time. I will take luck, and I will also take 1,050 pound feet of torque. Man, I, you know, I was talking a big game before the race, but I, you know, I really do wish that Ram made this truck available with their diesel because it also has a thousand pound feet of torque and be so much closer that way. Yeah, uh, your Hemi versus my 7.3 gas would be great, and diesel versus diesel would be great also. Are you now previewing our next Drag Race video, Ryan? Hey, I'm in if you are, man. Sure thing. This is goofy and hilarious and fun, and why not? All right, Ryan. I am done letting you win. I took all the weight out of my car. It's now less heavy than yours. Oh, finally, a fair fight. All right, let's go. You also have that racing strike.
stripes, so I'm getting pretty worried. Oh yeah, my stickers are way bigger than yours. That's got to add some horsepower. Sure. All right, you guys ready? This is going to go poorly. Ready to go. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, too high. I always get him on the launch. Okay, now power down. I got him going a little bit. Zero to 30 is better. Oh, he's building up both. And now full power, and that's it. That's that. There's nothing I can do. My foot is to the floor. Bye, Travis. Oh, this is it's so heartbreaking. I'm still going as fast as I can. This is really awesome. <laughs> that is a rush, man. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a third drag race because Hi, I buddy. like losing. My wedding ring came off in my racing glove. Sorry, honey. Are you wearing driving gloves, Ryan? They're racing, racing truck, truck gloves. gloves. That's how he beat me. So that's how you beat me, cheater. And I'll do it again. Three, two, one, go. Well, I'll beat him on the launch, again. Oh, it takes a while for all four tires to get on the ground. Oh, there's nothing for it. It gets me every time. It's over. I'm gonna sit here and lose now. Bye. All right, Ryan, it looks like that is official. You win. I'll take it, and I will also take any credit to my driving abilities. Let's just say if I had the Ram engine with a thousand pound of feet of torque under the hood of this truck, you would probably be singing a different tune. It's definitely worth a shot. For now, I'd say this case is closed. <laughs> I would say it is category closed. So the race went pretty much exactly as expected. The Tremor, and especially with its turbo diesel engine, had no problem dusting Travis and the power wagon. And I think what we can learn from that is the Tremor is designed to haul really heavy loads really quickly. And if you don't have a load behind it, it's gonna go even faster. I would definitely brag about owning a power wagon. That thing has proven itself again and again out here. But true bragging rights, I think no question, go to the Tremor. It's got all the numbers. If you get the turbo diesel engine, that is bragging rights in itself. And the name Tremor just sounds cooler. Right, Kevin Bacon? So the Ford was clearly the winner of the drag race on and off the road. And it's almost impossible to compete with a 1,050 pound feet of torque, even if this truck is a couple hundred pounds lighter. I think that Ford, it should be pointed out, is super impressive. It can go from zero to 60 in seven seconds. That's faster than most mid-sized family sedans. And it weighs 8,000 pounds. And we harped on and on in the comparison test about how much more expensive it is. 17 grand more when you compare these trucks as they're equipped. But you don't need all that extra equipment. You can bring the price down pretty far on the F-250. Get rid of the panoramic sunroof and the power deployable running boards and the massaging seats, and suddenly you're getting a truck that's a lot closer to this power wagon. Still though, this power wagon is the one I would want to live with on a daily basis. It's more comfortable and it better suits my needs. I don't own a 15,000 pound fifth wheel or a big trailer that I'm gonna be towing off road, so this is the one I'd pick. There is, however, an option I think that would be both of them, and that's if Ram were able to fit the diesel under the hood of this power wagon. Come on, then we can do an apples to apples test, or maybe we'll come back out here with a 7.3 liter version of the F-250 and race again, who knows, but as always, like this video, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and for more information on your perfect car, SUV, or truck, go to Edmunds.com.